And the, more, the foundation is there is God who is perfect. He has well, no that, That's not the foundation of our faith. No, that's not the foundation of our faith. Is the resurrection. He says that Allah is in heaven. Well, God, He's is having a creative thing. Answer that one. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Okay. Uh, level five is called Firdaus. Yep. And he said above it is the front of Allah. Yep. And above everything is Allah. So Allah is yes. in heaven. And, does, and if he descends to the lowest heaven, the lowest heaven is a created thing. negativity but there's serious scrutiny on the Christian faith that have been for many many years. For hundreds of years and yes. Christianity stands up well. Uh, of course, with, without doubt. But yeah. again you have to you have to understand from where you're standing, just as much as your faith is believable to you, to many others it isn't. But, but this is this is a, 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 an observation and a fact. But it's about the question of whether there is something called truth. Hundred percent. Do you believe in it? Do you believe there's a thing called truth? I do. Yes. And do you believe that that truth corresponds to reality? Correct. And do you 100%. believe that therefore, if there are statements that are in contradiction to reality, that these things are therefore untrue? Hundred percent. Therefore, we have a measure by which we can judge the religions of Islam and the religion of Christianity. Correct. A historical measurement. Right. Now, and, and, and thus, we can examine both religions and we can see which one of them corresponds to reality. Reality is not just the material world. Reality is history. Spiritual dimension. Reality is language. Reality culture. is spirituality, culture. These things are reality. Yeah, exactly. So, it is fair of you. As, as I'm saying, my, my question to you, it's not about your viewpoint. Your yeah. viewpoint is your belief. You know, I respect your right to belief. Yeah. But the fact is, why are you scrutinizing another religion? Yeah. Irrelevant are whether that religion is said truth or not. Yeah. The fact is, with your own religion, how do you justify the scrutiny with which it's been um, magnified under a very, very big magnifying glass? Where there are serious questions yeah. of the truth behind the very religion that we believe in. Example. How do you come to that? Example with the fact. Um, of how you even believe that believe that a virgin birth came about. Right. So in terms example, of the in terms of the in terms of the, in terms of the virgin birth, which which are very very fundamental, yeah, absolutely. They are, they, are, they are fundamental. They are fundamental. And, and this this statement about the virgin birth sits within a a, 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 a wider a wide spectrum, a wider paradigm. You know, the Trinity, etc. There are yeah, many absolutely. different Fundam viewpoints. fundamental fundamental belief in the virgin birth. Is, 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 it can only be upheld. Can only be upheld by the idea of a God that can intervene and interact Correct. with Society. nature and change it according to His will. Correct. So that is the that is the premise upon which the virgin birth is established. That idea. Correct. In terms of the virgin birth itself, evidence to the virgin birth. The only, the only rational evidence that I can provide to the virgin birth, I believe in the virgin birth, absolutely. In terms of a, in terms of a rational argument in favour of the virgin birth, Christ was sentenced to death because he believed himself to be the Messiah, and he believed himself. Oh, he, he never said so in a birth, He said so inadvertently. Again, it was the, the he, apostles he, and the others that. No, he said directly, and, and he, he affirmed that belief quite clearly. Afterwards, but he said no. He, no, no, no. He, he, he said. I don't want to get bogged down in it, but just very, very quickly. Christ asked the people. Christ asked the apostles, "Who do the people say that I am?" And some say the prophet. Some say. Uh, John the Baptist's Messiah. return, some say Elijah, some say Messiah. And then Jesus said, and whom do you say that I am? And Peter said, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Or, to put it in a Hebrewism, you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said, 
Peter, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. So he's affirming the belief. Yes, but he, he, what, what I meant by it, he didn't say it directly, he said it inadvertently. He still said it. Correct. If you say that I'm white and I go, you're right, no, but then then I'm saying that I'm white. No, would you would you agree? So when Jesus affirms Peter's belief, then he's saying that he's the Messiah. Right, so we've established that Jesus is saying that he's the Messiah. Right, brilliant. Now, it, Jesus was condemned to death because by claiming to be the Messiah, by claiming to be the Messiah, he was also claiming to be God. He was claiming to be a divine figure. He was claiming to be greater than the temple. He was claiming to be greater than the Sabbath. Now, the Jews wanted him, the Jews wanted him killed for these reasons. When he was executed, when he was executed, or when he was sentenced, his mother could have defended him. She could have saved his life by by literally throwing him in, throwing him under the bus in a way, and saying, "He's not the Messiah. His father is X Y Z. He's not the Son of God. He's the far. He's the Son of such and such. He is." my son he is just a man but she didn't now what mother doesn't defend the life of her own child even with the use of her own life something happened to mary to convince mary that jesus was the messiah something happened to mary Oh, yeah. The country of the place where she was in. Yeah. If she would have stood up and said she's a harlot, she would have been put to death. But would 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 would, mo would you agree with me that most mothers that love their children would rather die than see their child die? One million percent. Right. It's, it's a nice it's a nice hypothesis. Yeah. Even even women that have bought their children do so by arguing that it's not really a human life. They don't argue this is a human life and I'm going to kill it. They argue it's not a human life, so it's okay. It's okay to do so. It's okay if I have a book. As I, as I, again, the reiteration that needs to be had here is the very situation that they were in at the time. The very place, remember, he, Jesus was, put, was, was sentenced to death by accusations from within the Jewish community. Yep. But most above all, he was an enemy of Rome. So once it had, once the Jews had kind of given it to Pilate, yep, it was the end game. They turned it. They turned him. They they, they 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 were threatening to revolt. Correct. They were threatening to cause Correct. trouble. Correct. Of which they did inevitably. You know, um, you know, after the destruction of the temple. But again, you remember the great revolt. The great Jewish revolt against the Jewish Yep. But most in the dynamics of the time. If Mary, if Mary could have, if Mary could have saved, if Mary could have saved Christ's life, she would have. But, but you have by, to by stating who his father was going on, by the very dynamics of the had she done so at the very beginning, there may have been a chance to save his life. Once he was. Why does Mary never? Why is Mary never seen to contradict Jesus? As because of the because of the dynamic of the time. She would have been put to death without the second blink. No, no. She, yeah. she was. She was. She was. She was what, what, what are you debating? What, what, what are you debating? Are you lying to the young brothers again? Are you lying to the young brothers again? Are you lying to these young brothers again? Are you lying to these young brothers? Where is the moon? He rolls out. So, so tell me, tell me, Shamdi. Bob, Bob, Shamdi. He doesn't want to be in a camera. The hypostatic union. He doesn't want to be in a camera. Are you? Do you feel educated to defend the hypostatic union? I'm not fully educated enough. I have a conversation. Yeah, okay. 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 So what? My point here is that you agree with me that God exists with His attributes. You see, like you know, when we say, because I think He knows, Bob, as well. There was a sect in Islam they call Mu'tazila. Okay, this group. They try to negate all Allah's attributes. So what the Islamic scholar said, there is no essence that exists except as attributes. So when we say Allah exists, meaning Allah who eternally exists with his attributes, the all-powerful, the all-knowing. His attributes are other than him because attribute doesn't exist by itself. For example, have you seen knowledge? Yeah, but God exists by himself. Yes, that's what I'm saying, but his attributes. Have you seen knowledge of God walking in the streets? 
Yo, Which of these attributes changes? You see what I'm saying? Have you seen that? Which of these attributes changes? Yeah, but you give me an example of someone. So, have you seen blue color? You know the color blue? Yeah. Blue color is an attribute. Like, you know, this is the, this is the color blue, okay? The blue color doesn't exist by itself in the real world. In your head, yes. In your head, everything exists. In your head, someone can exist and don't exist at the same time. You see what I'm saying? There's a theory. But in the real life, that's a different thing. So in the real life, have you seen blue color walking in the street? Yes, you've seen blue color. Blue something. You can see blue, blue you can see. No, no, blue color by itself. This, is a, this is a silly argument. No, 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 blue is a reality no, 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 no. that is created by the spectrum of the mind. Ask him many times. So have you seen Sunny? He doesn't, he doesn't want me to get involved. Yeah, yeah, plus speaking to me. He only targets young Christians. No, he spoke to me. He targets Christians. Let him, let him. Come on, don't speak to you. Thank you very much. I'm not going to be able to defend you. No, don't worry. Listen, I'm not the... Personally, Shamsi, yeah. I'm not able to defend everything because I'm not a scholar. Even a scholar sometimes can make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, we are human beings. But what we're talking about here, we're talking about the foundation. You know, the foundation is the most clear thing. Which one? The, more, the foundation is there is God who is perfect. He has well, no that, beginning. That's not the end. foundation that's of our faith. That's known. That's known. You yeah, don't have you, to be you're misleading, Shamsi. That's not, it's not, it's not the, uh, the foundation no, of I'm our say, faith. I'm saying that is a the foundation of no, our faith is the resurrection. I didn't, I didn't say faith. We start from the resurrection. Did that's Jesus, the foundation of our faith. Okay, that's different thing. I don't know. My point here is Jesus that's what said, the Bible says. Jesus said, All here children of Israel are what? We have one God. Moses said the same thing. The first commandment of, uh, of the, yeah. the, 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 the first commandment, what is it? Worship no. your God and love Him with Just all your heart. Just say it and believe in one so God, Shamsi. Look, look. What's, one, what's, one, that's not the important thing, though. Interrupt, respect Him and respect Him as well. I'm speaking to you. You interrupt me all the time, Shamsi. You've in, you're on yeah, record okay, interrupting yeah, me loads of times. Okay. So don't lecture. Okay, Bob, Bob, don't lecture. Wait, wait, Bob, can I? Don't lecture. interrupting something good or wrong? It, it is something that you should. I if you object that, to it, if you object to it, you shouldn't do it. You don't have to be a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Sikh. To know God eternally perfect. The devil believes the time, in, in one God. So no, if That's someone not a tell point. Me, if someone tell me, you believe God is perfect. Then How does God becoming a man stop being perfect? If you tell me God is perfect. Well, Jesus Christ is the perfect man. Amen. We're going to come to it. If you perfect man, okay? We're going to come to that. Did he sleep? Yeah. yeah. That's not perfect, man. Why is it imperfect? So it's a perfect man. Tired, by tired, virtue tired, of his humanity. Tired, tired. We keep telling you this, Shamsi. So by perfect, what do you mean by, by perfect? virtue perfect of his humanity. In his body? In his brain? In his... He's perfect because he doesn't sin. He doesn't yes. never sin. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. Now... Are you going to accuse Jesus of sinning? Wait, 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 wait. No prophet sins. Okay? Except what? Prophet so we're right. Adam. Understand? Because Jacob, in the Bible said, God said to Satan, have you seen my servant Jacob? Is a blameless man. What does it mean, blameless man? Sinless. Sinless. Yeah. You see? So you have two perfect men. Does, does it make Jacob God? No. no. You see, I like both Simon. No, 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 no. Hold on one second. <laughs> Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Sunny, Sunny, Sunny. You know, inheriting a sin. Blameless. Uh, wait, wait. Blameless. Inheriting sin. How am I going to inherit something? Is it from, my, from the sperm of my father or through the act of my mother? How am I going to inherit sin? If I never commit sin, then why someone comes thousands of years after is going to be responsible for You're something all over the place. Way before? So what I'm saying how does God becoming, how does God entering his creation this make him less perfect? Uh, That's walk, the point you're that you're getting to. You see? You you no, no, you I interrupted me plenty, you. Shamsi. Don't no, win. You interrupted me plenty. I'm not going to be able to defend Yeah, you've got to let other people speak. So you're not able to defend it? No, I'm not able to. But I'll defend it. But I'll defend it. No, I'll defend it, Shamsi. Shamsi, debate me. Yeah. Please, please. please. No, it's a book tight. No. <laughs> so notice he runs away. He runs away and he chucks the ladder. Shamsi. 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 You stole it. Fell off you. You stole it. <laughs> I took it. There you go. Shamsi, how does God entering. How does God entering. <laughs>
this is the th this is the problem. They they look for young Christians like you. Yeah, yeah. They, but this is the point. They they look for Christians that cannot defend their faith. Bro, he believes the moon is in the eye. No, no. I seen it and you ran away. Yeah, you did run away, Shamji. The fact of the matter is, the fact is, Shamji. This is not something of a new testament. This is something of a new testament. Well, we spoke about the already. Take us What about Allah? What about Allah entering into his creation? What about Allah entering into his creation? Shamji. The Quran says that Allah is in heaven. Is Allah in heaven, Shamsi? Is, is Allah in heaven, Shamsi? Shamsi can't talk to me. No, 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 Oh, really? I heard you was a naughty boy last time. Have, have you been rehearsing that? I heard you been a naughty boy last month. I heard you been a naughty boy last month. Alright, Shamsi Gonzalez. Shamsi, I got a question for you. Alright, Shamsi. Why are we running away, Shamsi? Why are we running away? Have respect and speak to the guy. I only have one quick question. No, I don't speak to you. Take care. I spoke to you for an hour. Shamsi, he says that Allah is in heaven. He's having a creative thing, Shamsi. First of all, is is heaven a creative thing? That's the wrong translation. Allah is not in heaven. It's the wrong translation. According to who? I'll tell you according to who. According to according to the hadith of a messenger of Allah. According to our hadith. Yeah, Prophet said it clearly. It talks about Yusuf Ali's translation. Ask me. Go on. I'm going to go back. Anyway, go on. Tell me. Tell me. You want to ask me? So let me ask you. Tell me why it's the wrong translation. I say it was the wrong translation. Yeah. Because the hadith explained that the messenger of Allah said the first heaven and he described the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth and the fifth and the seventh heaven. Yep. Then he said there is a paradise. Yep. Then he mentioned the last uh, level of paradise called Firdaus. Yep. And he said above it is the throne of Allah. Yep. And above everything is Allah. So Allah is yes. in heaven. And does it say and also in those hadiths that Allah enters, descends to the lowest heaven, Shamsi? Shamsi, you just quoted the hadiths. But those same hadiths say that Allah entered the lowest heaven. Okay. Okay. Go back, go back, go back. Go back. The lowest heaven, Shamsi. Shamsi. Shamsi, it says in the hadiths. Okay, okay, we'll just talk. We'll just talk off cam. We'll just talk over here. So, Shamsi, Shamsi is running away from a debate again, as always. He's running away from a debate. He has just stated in in response to a quotation that he didn't listen to. He said it was the wrong translation. In the Quran, it says in Surah 67, Ayah 17. Or do ye feel secure that he, that's referring to Allah, who is in heaven, will not send against you a violent tornado, so that you shall know how was my warning. So the Quran is quite clearly saying that Allah is in heaven. Now Shamsi's defense was to refer to a hadith, yeah. the hadith that says that Allah is above the heavens and that Allah is above paradise and that Allah is above his throne. Fine, Shamsi, we'll go with that. Allah is above. But the question is, does Allah descend? Because in the same hadiths that he's quoting, and I'm guessing he's using Sahih al-Bukhari, but that's obviously a guess. He didn't actually give his reference. But let's credit him with using the strongest authorities. In the same hadiths, we see this is quoting directly from the Islamic website. Now, bearing in mind, I tried to confront Shamsi about an ayah in the Quran that says that Allah is in heaven. And Shamsi's defense was to quote hadiths, which were written hundreds of years later, that show that Allah is above the heavens and above paradise and above the throne. 
But just because he is above, which the Hadiths obviously demonstrate that he is, does that mean that he cannot enter his creation? I'm now going to quote the same sources that Shamsi quoted to show you that Allah does enter into the heavens. The Hadith, the, this is the, the, the Muslim scholar from Islamka.info, and this is what he says. This Hadith is Sahih Hadith, which is proven in the soundest two books after the book of Allah. It was narrated by Al-Bukhari in his Sahih, 1145 and by Muslim 1261 so those are the references to the hadiths one's imagines from Abu Huraira may Allah be pleased with him that the Prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said the Lord descends every night to the lowest heaven when one third of the night remains and says who will call upon me that I may answer him who will answer of me that I may give him? Who will seek my forgiveness that I may forgive him? So Shamsi's argument was there's a hadith that says that Allah is above the heavens and he is above paradise and he is above his throne. Fine, yeah, Allah is above. But the same hadith literature also says that whilst he might start from above, he descends. And if he descends to the lowest heaven, the lowest heaven is a created thing. So Allah has entered creation. And that also means that this verse in the Quran, where it says that Allah is in heaven, agrees with the hadiths. It is not in contradiction to the hadiths. But sadly, as always, Shamsi wants to debate. What he'll probably do is watch this video and put out a correction when there's no one here to challenge him on his correction. But I invite Shamsi to respond to that. Mm. You said that the, that the linguist Yosef Ali, mm. a man who was translating the Quran from Arabic to English, who is a, a, a linguist, because you're not a linguist, Shamsi, you can barely speak English, <laughs> but you, you're saying that his translation is wrong. Well, he's a linguist. He's someone who knows about translation the last I checked, there isn't a translation of the Quran called Shamsi's translation of the Quran. <laughs> but there is one by Yosef Ali. And Yosef Ali says that Allah is in heaven. Yeah. And you've made the argument that Allah is not in heaven because heaven is a created thing and Allah can't enter his creation. Yeah. And you're making that argument based upon a hadith that says that Allah is above his creation, above the paradise, above heavens, above his throne. I accept your hadith. I'm not disputing it. Allah is above his creation. I agree with you. But the same hadith literature says that Allah descends to the lowest heaven. And if he descends to the lowest heaven, that means he has entered his creation. The infinite has entered into the finite. That which is, that which is the, the, the eternal has entered into that which is the temporal, that which is the changeable. So your argument doesn't seem to match up with your sources. Your sources contradict your argument, Shamsi. And that means that your arguments against the incarnation of our Lord, saying that Christ cannot enter into earth, that the Logos can't become a man, that God can't become a human being, because this means God is not perfect, because the eternal can't enter into the temporal, because the infinite can't enter into the finite, suddenly collapses by your own logic. You can't have it both ways. You can't say that the Christian God can't enter into the finite and can't enter into the temporal because that means he's not perfect. But then on the other hand, suggest that it is reasonable that your God can. Now I accept Shamsi that you're not saying that. You're saying exactly the opposite. But your argument is based upon hadiths. A hadith which says that Allah is above the heavens, above paradise and above the throne. That he's above the created order. But I'm quoting hadiths, the same hadiths that you're using, the same literature that you're using, that says that Allah descends into the heavens. So explain to me where I'm wrong, Shamsi. Now furthermore, it says in the Quran that Allah is in heaven. Heaven is a created thing. So your sources are saying that Allah is in a created thing. Your sources are saying that Allah descends into a created thing. 
So I am reasonable in concluding that Allah enters into a created thing. Now, I as a Christian, from a Christian point of view, have absolutely no problem with this. Mm. I have no problem with the idea that Allah enters into creation. None at all. I'm not making any criticism of that whatsoever. But I am criticizing the Muslim argument that the Christian God can't enter into creation. Because Muslims are attacking Christians because we believe that God has entered into creation. And they're saying that this is logically inconsistent. They're saying that how can the perfect become imperfect? But the fact is your own sources are saying the same thing. So if it is a problem that my sources, my Bible says that God became a man and somehow that this is proof that the Bible can't be trusted and should not be believed, then by your logic, Shamsi, you should reject the Hadiths and the Quran. Because the Quran says that Allah is in heaven and the Hadith says that Allah descends into the heavens. So choose, what is it going to be? Are you going to throw away your authorities, the Quran and the Hadith? Are you going to throw away just the Hadith? Because if you can throw away the Quran and the Hadith because they both say that Allah is in heaven. Or you can throw away the Hadith because you're using the hadiths to say that my translation by Yosef Ali is wrong, or you can throw away your argument, your argument against the Christian faith, and you can start to be consistent intellectually. But the reality is, I don't think you'll do either. I think that what you'll end up doing is arguing a double standard. You'll argue that it is wrong when Christians believe that God can enter into creation, and then you'll be selective about your own sources despite the fact that your sources say exactly the same.